Hey fam. Okay. I wanted to go live one because I've missed you all so much. It's been a while. Um, and because I watched Cruella, rented it with like the premier access on my birthday, watched it and I wanted to talk about it, see what you all thought. I'm getting ready to film a small part of a video. And so I thought that we would just get ready together and talk about Cruella. Hi, Savannah. Hi, DJ. I'm so excited. I can see the chat this time. Okay. So I'm getting ready. I already put on my facial moisturizer. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about makeup as we go, but mostly just wanted to talk about Cruella. But today I am using my Dossier perfume in Floriental Vanilla. Now this is the equivalent to the YSL Black Opium. Hi, Eobed. Hi, Craig. Hey, everybody. And it smells amazing. Craig, didn't you say you used to get YSL Black Opium? Was that you? I'm going to try this today. Hi, Veronica. Hey, everyone. Oh, my God. This smells so amazing. This smells so good. It smells a lot like the YSL. So, Dossier, like I told you guys, designer perfumes, iconic scents, designer quality, no markups. So this is like 30 bucks. Plus, I've got a discount. I put it in the um, description box down below. So please check out Dossier if you're looking for a great scent. But yes, yeah, so the other night we got premiere access to Cruella and watched it. And y'all, I loved it. I thought it was amazing. I thought that it, the acting was great. I love Emma Thompson and I really like Emma Stone. Um, and I thought they were both good, but I actually also really, really liked the Horace and Jasper. I thought that especially, uh, I think it was Horace. Yeah, Horace was so funny. And that little dog, Wink. Well, both of the dogs were cute. But Wink stole my heart. That dog was absolutely adorable. And I like that Horace and Jasper this time had their own doggy sidekicks. Because obviously in the animated version... They're after the Dalmatian puppies, which, gosh, after this first movie, I don't, I will never say I can see why, but a little bit. Hi, Remus. Oh, you are so sweet. Cruella was pretty bad, wasn't she? I mean, she, I thought it was, okay, I don't want to spoil it. Comment now if you have seen it. Um, And if not, I don't. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it. So let me know if there's anybody here who doesn't want spoilers. I'll just wait for a few minutes in case any of y'all really aren't wanting a spoiler. Because I don't want to ruin anything. Because there is definitely some stuff in this movie that if you were to hear it before you watched it, would spoil everything. How's everybody doing? DJ, you're fine with spoilers. Veronica the clothes. So I looked up the costume designer the other night because I thought it was that woman, Sandy, who did all the costumes for Cinderella because they really reminded me of just like how like beautiful they were and colorful. It was another designer, but the clothes were absolutely incredible. I'm trying to think about which look was my favorite and it's so hard to pick because they were all beautiful. So the one that stood out to me, though, was the one that she did on top of the car when she got out of the car. And it was like a military style jacket and then a long red and black train. That one took my breath away. And I think that the, also just the plain red dress that she wore to the black and white ball. Um, oh, yeah. You would love the fashion. Anybody can love the fashion. Anybody like Fashion is for everybody, and we should all admire because the, the costume work in a film is just so important. And especially as an actor, I can tell you it makes a huge difference. Like, whenever you are getting ready and gearing up for a film, right? You have rehearsals, and you have a table read, and you're memorizing your lines, and getting a grasp on the character can be really difficult sometimes. But when you get into a costume, if the costume is really good, it just helps push you across that finish line. Same thing with the set. Like the set design of this movie was incredible. Craig, okay, good. So I don't want to spoil it. The red and black train. Oh my gosh. Yes, it was. That was a moment. What else? Um, what else does everybody like as far as the costumes go? All of uh, the Baroness's costumes I thought were really, really good, but the set design was incredible. The atelier where they, the Baroness, um, you know, basically her atelier, the office where she 
made all of her clothes was so cool. I thought that department store set in the first act was really, really neat. Where Cruella, Jasper, and Horace lived was cool. Everything. I, You know what? Sorry, I'm kind of all over the place because I'm so excited because there's so much to talk about. Um, well, no, we'll keep talking about set design because also Hellman Hall, which as we all know later becomes Hell Hall, was beautiful. It was so beautiful. And I wonder if that was an actual location or if that was a set that they built. Because in the live action Cinderella in 2005, the the place where they have the ball, the palace, like the main ballroom, I thought, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. I wonder where this is. And that was just a massive set that they built that was really elaborate. You, Oh, Remus, thank you so much. Thank you for saying that about my films. I appreciate that more than I can say. I had so much fun working on um, Remember the Goal. And same there. It's like, I'm not really an athletic person, but whenever I got into, you know, Coach Courtney's polo and I had my whistle and my clipboard that helped, you know, really get in that kind of mindset or that space. And so those films were so much fun. I can hardly believe we shot Remember the Goal five, you know, six years ago this summer, six years ago this summer. Is that just not crazy? I cannot believe that's how long ago we shot it. And I think the perfect race was three, almost four years ago now. And so it's really been a long time since we worked on the films and we're actually going to do a third film. I don't know if everyone knows that, but we are going to be doing a third film in that series. Hopefully we'll be shooting that if not late this year, then early next year. So please keep us in your prayers as we try to get that movie made. I would so love to be able to finish out. It was always supposed to be a trilogy. So if the films could, you know, if it could happen, I would really like that. Hi, Rodney. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for saying happy birthday weekend. I had a great birthday. Um, I'm not going to get to celebrate with my family until next weekend because um, a lot of my family's working today or traveling, and then I am working tomorrow. And so we're going to celebrate next Sunday. So the party's just going to keep going. And Remus, I agree. Clarence Gilliard was amazing. I'm so lucky that I got to work with Clarence. He's such a class act and a talented actor and just an all around great person. And I always think that the better the actors you surround yourself with, the better you become, just like anything in life. And I really think that having Clarence there really elevated everybody's performance. And I'm so lucky that I got to work with him. If you're just now joining, hi, Irvin. DJ, thank you so much. I can't wait to make the third one. I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but it's going to be about golf. So I'm just spilling all the secrets for the Remember the Goal series here on YouTube. But yeah, it's going to be a golf movie, which I think will be really cool. Um, yeah, happy Father's Day this month to all the dads in the group. I know Rodney is a dad. Who else is a dad here? Oh, but back to Cruella. How about the cars? Who else thought the cars were incredible? I thought that the cars were absolutely amazing. I was a little confused because whenever I watched the animated films, I didn't think that they looked like they were set in the 60s and 70s. I thought that the original films kind of looked like the late 30s, early 40s. Yeah, I thought that the cars were so cool. Rodney, if you don't want spoilers, let me know so I don't spoil anything. Um... Oh, cool, DJ. Well, I'll have to get uh, golf pointers for you before I film this next movie. But even the car design to me didn't look like 60s or 70s. All the cars looked like classic cars from the 30s, you know, 20s, 30s, and at the very latest, the 40s. What do y'all think? The beaded dress. Oh, the beaded dress. Okay, since everyone's okay with spoilers, the beaded dress that turned out to be moths. Brilliant. I did not see that coming. I know whenever he came in with the package that had the beads in it, I was like, they're doing something sneaky here, but I don't know what it was. And then whenever she like got the pin with the vault, I thought maybe she's going to break in. They have to make it look like you're trying to break in. And I was like, oh, that just clicked because she didn't want them to know that she could have done that from the inside. It had to look like she broke in. Wow. 
Okay. That's crazy. That's crazy. That just clicked. You know, okay, at the end of the movie, hey, Kari. Um, or Carrie. Uh, at the end of the movie, you guys know what I realized? So when they drop off the puppies, Pongo and Purdy, I'm like, wait, does this mean that Pongo and Purdy are brother and sister? Hey, Kimmy. Does anyone, did anyone else think about that? I'm like, wait, does this mean that Pongo and Purdy are brother and sister because they came from the same litter? right? Am I the only one that thought that? I was like, uh, I don't know about all this, but I, I, back to the dogs. I know I've said it before, but I'll say it again. Sorry. This review is kind of all over the place. Um, but that little dog wink was just, oh my God, the cutest thing. The one little eye, I thought it was so sweet. And I loved how much Horace loved wink. Because I think that's how we all are with our pets, right? Hey, fam. I'm saying, I see everyone saying, hey. I'm going to jump in there and say, hey, fam. So I just filmed a video the other day because on my birthday, guess what my mom and sister did? Made Alleyways t-shirts. So you guys will see them soon. And if you guys like them, let me know. And obviously, like, we can start merch going, but they're really cute. I should have worn one today for y'all, but I've actually both worn them both already, so I had to wash them, um, but yeah, for my birthday, mom and Court started some alleyways merch, which I was so excited about. Yes, Carrie, I had a great birthday. I had a wonderful birthday. Um, I, I uh, got up and worked out, and I shot some videos, I, which is what I love to do, right? Like I, I worked and got a bunch of stuff done. And then that night, or my mom took me to lunch, which was fun. And then that night I went and got sushi, which is like my favorite dinner. What's everybody else's favorite dinner? Let me know. Oh, I can't wait for some travel with the twins merch. I can't wait to see it. How are y'all doing yours? Are you doing drop shipping? Oh, Rodney, thank you. I'm trying to come up with, because the design that Courtney and mom dreamed up, I absolutely love, but we're working on designing one for all the guys too, in case y'all want something a little different from what we designed first. And so we're coming up with something a little bit more subtle for the guys on the channel as well. I'm just doing my makeup. Italian food. Oh, Craig, thank you. Manicotti. I love manicotti. You have designs. Carrie, I think that a lot of people do drop shipping whenever they can't make them themselves as like a way of getting them produced and shipped. But um, as I'm researching, I'll let you know, of course, you know, we can make ours because Courtney has a silhouette and she makes all those awesome Disney tees or, uh, you know, she can do pretty much any like iron on vinyl. She can do glass etching. So it's so nice to be able to have that. But I think if you don't, that drop shipping is what most people do. Rodney, my family is looking into the Disney Wish. I think a, who here has booked Disney Wish? Ooh, Thai curry chicken on rice. That sounds delicious, Remus. Remus, welcome to the fam, by the way. Hi. Thank you so much for being here. I don't think we've formally met yet. I will shout you out in a video soon. Italian is a great birthday dinner. Rodney, you're going end of July. Oh, and twins, I know y'all book back to back. I'm like, already ready for those vlogs and y'all haven't even sailed yet that is going to be incredible so will y'all be on there for a solid week then did you do four night three night is that what y'all ended up doing i can't wait i'm so ready i was so excited that they opened that up and then also i was so excited that um they were doing opening up like volunteer sailing i thought that was going to be I was like ready to sign up and then y'all let me know they're doing employees. Savannah, you're looking into 2022. Um, yes, DJ, four night, three night. Oh, that's going to be amazing. Hey, Lodi. Rodney, you have a three night. I just need to go ahead and book the free night. You guys know though what I'm afraid of? I'm afraid that I'm going to fall in love with the wish and not want to go back on the other ships. And I still need to do my grand slam. I still need the magic and I still need the fantasy. You know, let's see. I, I would like, yeah, Rodney, it's, it's really, really, Carrie, I might have to 
I might have to crash y'all's cruise. A back-to-back -back would be amazing because, you know, I've never done a week-long cruise. And I'm so ready to do a week-long Disney cruise, especially after not being there for this long. I am so ready. I miss it. And whenever they were announcing the, they were opening up for like volunteer cruising, I was like looking for a link everywhere, but it's really sweet that they're doing that for their employees. Cause I know it's been so hard. I joined this group on uh, Facebook called ear for each other. I don't know if y'all have heard about that, but it's this incredible group. It's a private group on Facebook that is for cast members or people that want to support cast members that were either, um, released or furloughed and they started businesses during COVID and the people on air for each other have the cutest things that they make. And it's just so cool to see them like bouncing back and then um, kind of doing something during quarantine and making the most of it. And now in the air for each other group, everyone's kind of posting as they're like getting their call to come back to work. And it just makes me so happy um, to see that happening and then it makes me happy that they're going to get to be the ones to do the volunteer sailing i'm like y'all really deserve it y'all make the magic can you say hi to oc she's watching with me did i pronounce that correctly hi oc um yeah i would love to come on the back to back rodney you're 729 oc hi oc hi thank you for watching um yeah i would love to book with y'all send me the details dollar November oh, fantasy that would be so much fun that's when Monroe's birthday is so that would be a fun birthday trip um tell OC thank you for watching hi uh that would be a really fun birthday trip because Monroe's never done a Disney cruise and I'm like I don't know how much longer we can be married if you haven't done a Disney cruise you know what I mean <laughs> oh yeah Mary time cruise that would be so much fun and y'all know it's one of my dreams to do Halloween on the high seas Sorry, I got kind of off topic with Cruella, but I pretty much said everything there was to say about my review. It, I thought it was great. Loved the costumes. Loved the set design. Loved the hair and makeup. Thought they nailed hair and makeup for everybody. Um, I thought the plot was really, really interesting. Uh, Tasia and Sonia. Hi! I hope I said those names correctly, Ludi. Tasia and Sonia. Hi, thank you all so much for watching. Basketball group. How'd y'all's game go the other night? I heard y'all were playing. And Ludi, I think you guys, you had lost before and you were going back for, going back to reclaim your title. Um, let's see. OC. Oh, you just graduated kindergarten. Oh my goodness. Congratulations, OC. You're just growing up so fast. Uh, Carrie, I know you miss her being in your preschool class. The story made you lose some brain cells, Veronica. Veronica, elaborate more on what you thought about the story. Why did it make you lose some brain cells? I thought the story was really interesting. Um, I think like... Hmm. It was... I'm going to have to go back and watch it again before I comment on story. I was so distracted the first time just kind of taking everything in because the cinematography, the lighting, the color grading... The set design, the art, the costumes were all so beautiful. And of course, I especially Emma Thompson. I love Emma Stone, but like Emma Thompson is one of my role models. I think she's so incredible. And so just soaking her in, I got like so, I got like so, you know, distracted. And so I really need to watch it again to chew up all the story. Veronica, yeah, it was interesting. It was confusing. I don't want to say too much because I really don't want to spoil it. Oh, Rodney, don't apologize. You know I always want to talk Disney Cruise. The music? Okay. Literally, Carrie, I kept leaning over to Monroe when we were watching Cruella because, I, you know, I went to law school and I studied entertainment law. And um, I was just kept saying to him, like, the licensing fee for this music has to be out of control out of control because of how many incredible songs they used and it's so expensive to use those great classic songs like the, it was just like banger after banger after banger and I just was I thought they are running up a heck of a licensing bill because the music was so darn good the music was amazing yeah Veronica I agree when, whenever they use Nancy Sinatra I was like 
done. It was great. Um, oh, Rodney, tell the kids congratulations. The triplets are graduating eighth grade. Wow. I remember graduating eighth grade, and then starting high school. That felt like a big life change. It felt like such a big life change. It was whew, a lot happens after that. Um, let's see. Am I all caught up? I think so. What's everyone doing today? How's everyone doing today? Oh, and P.S. Um, I, Ludie, thank you. Thank you so much for saying that. That's so sweet. I try really hard on my makeup. I want to learn some new techniques soon. P.S. Guess what's uploading right now? Turks and Caicos, day two. And I'm thinking about premiering it tonight, y'all, because tomorrow, remember when I went out to Utah and I was working on that film Burn Rider? I am back home now, obviously, but sometimes after you finish a film and they begin editing, they will find that they need to redo certain shots or get shots they didn't get before to fill things out. And those are called pickup shoots. So now we're all back in Franklin and tomorrow from three to 11, I have pickup shoots with Burn Rider. Um, and that'll be the last thing we shoot on the film. And so I won't, I can't guarantee that I can be there for the premiere. So if I premiered Turks and Caicos day two tonight, would y'all be there? Would that work? Whoa, eighth grade class had 12 people? That's crazy, DJ. How many people were in your high school? 14 out of 17 videos. Whoa. That's what I like, though. It's Stretch that content out, Carrie, because then it just keeps us having something to watch. It keeps us entertained. It keeps us, like, feeling like we're at Alani with you. Ludi, I don't have to ride the motorcycle, thank goodness, because I've not practiced in months and I would be terrified to get back on now without having any rehearsals. But you guys, I don't know if I told y'all, but I did actually crash on the bike and my burn on my knee was really bad. It's totally gone. So for everybody that prayed um, for me during that, thank you, because that healing was incredible. Okay, yay, anytime, DJ Tinnish. Okay, I will upload it and we will watch it tonight. It's 40 minutes, y'all, it is long. I'm thinking that the Turks and Caicos vlogs are all gonna be long because I just filmed so much. And I did, it's hard to cut stuff out, but I'm doing it just by day because there's seven days and I'm afraid if I broke it up into parts, it would just get to be too many. So, 40 minute video tonight. <laughs> yeah, do Sunday. Sunday nights are great. Oh, yeah, Rodney. Doesn't that, doesn't that stink about the Preds? Oh, you had a thousand people in your high school. Okay, that's a big high school. Yeah, I my I graduated with 480 in my class. Yeah, I Meredith always says that people prefer long videos. What do y'all think about that? Do y'all prefer long videos? I never know. I don't want to, I don't want to like wear y'all out with a video that's too long. Um, but if you like them, I'll keep them coming. And I think going live is fun because then we can talk more. Well, the marching band, I was in marching band. Band was like one of my favorite parts of high school. It was so much fun. I got burnt out though, because I did marching band and then winter drum line and it was just too much band time. And so I dropped out after freshman year, but I always kind of regretted it because I had so much fun. Oh, Savannah. Okay, good. You like long videos. Thank you. Savannah, I am so happy you're part of the fan. Have I shouted you out yet, Savannah? Has that, I, I know I shouted you out in a video, but I have so many coming out because I did Turks and Caicos. I did Cabo and I filmed a bunch of hauls. And so I'm losing track of who I shouted out and also because my memory cards keep shorting. And so I'm losing clips. Okay, Savannah, I'm filming a video today. I'll shout you out. And if I've already shouted you out and you have two, two shout outs for you, my girl. I'm so happy you're part of the fam. I was in the drum line. What did y'all play in marching band? Oh, DJ, what'd you play? Trombone. I can see that. You seem like a brass. Yes, Ludi was awful. I um I got like a second degree burn on my leg. Clarinet, bass clarinet, and bassoon. Kimmy did trombone. Wow. I didn't expect that. 
I thought, does everyone think y'all would play Piccolo? I thought y'all would play Piccolo because you're so, like, petite and small. And a, a lot of times I think that most people guess. Whenever I people um, try and guess what I played in marching band, most people always say clarinet or flute. Yes, Ludi, can you believe that? Luckily, our medic was with us and had a trauma pack and put it on my leg right away. Um, yeah, it was not fun, but I'm all better now. And it made me, you know, test my bravery, which is always a good thing to do. I feel like as you get older, sometimes you lose some of your bravery. Maybe that's just me, but I remember things I did when I was little that I don't think I would do now. DJ, I did play bass drum. That's exactly what I did. Good guess. Nobody has, I don't think has ever guessed. I did play bass drum. And then I did like all the auxiliary percussion instruments as well. So timpani and xylophone and marimba. I'm just about done. I don't want to do any, any spoilers for Cruella because it's just so good that I don't really want to ruin it. But I did want to get on here and say I loved it. And it was fun to rent it, even though it's $30, which let's be honest, like, that seems kind of expensive. I know it's in lieu of going to the movie theater and I'm happy that we can do that at home. It was worth it. It was just fun to like kind of a movie night at home. Oh, bass drum too. That's fun. Some drumline girls all here together. Okay. So my makeup is done. I have my dossier on. Now I'm just going to go stick on some eyelashes and film the end of the video. Savannah, your shout out is coming. So I'm going to hop off here, but thank you all so much for being here. I love y'all. And I guess I'll see y'all tonight. Fingers crossed everyone can make it. I love you all. And I hope you have an amazing Saturday. Bye fam.